hi guys welcome back to my channel so I was sitting down out here just enjoying this weather and I decided that I was gonna do my Halloween home tour uh, I wanted to let you guys know I didn't do as much as I would like to do one because we have Priscilla living with us right now and she gets into everything and two I have issues with my arm I've been having some pain for over a year with my arm sometimes it's really bad and other times it's you know it's all right but sometimes it just it prevents me from uh, doing some of my DIYs or decorating my house. So um, that's why I haven't really done too many DIYs. I still had a lot of Halloween DIYs that I wanted to do. But unfortunately, my arm is in too much pain. And yeah, it's sometimes it's hard for me to raise my arm up. I've gone to a few doctors. Nobody knows what's wrong with me. They all tell me different things. So you know I just have to deal with it so anyway I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I have out in indoor for Halloween I hope you guys enjoy this Halloween home tour so in the entryway I put this cute little uh, table runner that I bought at Ross I told that girl to stay and she moved look at her over here um, I bought these little guys here from the 99 cent store I was gonna hang them up from here but I thought they were gonna be a little bigger up the ceiling but they're really small so I decided to put them right here anyways so I'm just gonna go ahead and start showing you the stuff that I have and then I will show you the evening look All right, so here's my Halloween tree. It is not exactly how I wanted it to turn out, but um, I still like it. So I was trying to cover some gaps and holes and stuff, so I put some of this garland from Dollar Tree all the way around just to try to cover some of those holes. And then I also bought these pumpkins at Dollar Tree, and I just made the faces, and I put them throughout the tree. I also made this little Sam ornament. I only did one because I was trying to see how it would come out. And um, I think I'm gonna make a few more. I do have my Jason lights, my Michael Myers, and I have my Freddy Krueger. And it's just a bunch of things that I like on here. So this is my Halloween tree. And there's Priscilla over here I put my mother's wreath that I made for her since October is breast cancer awareness month so I have this out here and then this is my daughter's sign I just put it right here I have one exactly like it right outside the door I also have that big pumpkin right here next to the tree <laughs> and then over here are my the ones that I picked up at Dollar Tree and then this guy These are just those little bats from Dollar Tree. I picked up two packs and I put them on this little tree here. Hocus Pocus. Okay, over 
over here on this little table, I just have this little Priscilla. This is my favorite area right here. Priscilla. This is that cape that goes on the wine bottle. I love this area right here. Over here in the kit in the kitchen, I didn't put a lot. I just did this right here. And then I just decided to put this little plate right here against the uh, backsplash of the stove area. So this is my altar for Dia de los Muertos. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this. I am still working on it. Uh, but I'll show you guys really quickly what I've done so far with it. This doesn't belong here. Those are my parents right there. I don't know what to put here because there used to be a clock here and I guess I guess there used to be a clock there so I just covered that right there but this is it let me show you really quickly what my daughter has in her room so my daughter has in her room this here this little area that she decorated she is working on a DIY here she made a Jack Skellington face these are the Dollar Tree pumpkins and she did this one and I think she needs one more and I think she's gonna do like a chopperary or something like that but she's working on that but this is her area right here this is all she did in her little desk area so this is my Dia de los Muertos altar I changed it up <laughs> I have an audience <laughs> So this is the altar. I did switch it up. I did have it a different way and I didn't really care for it. So this is as good as it's going to get this year. And I have my cat whiskers. My parents. Our dog Kabook. And my grandparents. My grandmother passed away a few weeks back. What was it, three weeks ago, I think? And so, yeah, so now I could actually put her and my grandfather there. But this is our Dia de los Muertos altar this year. All right, so again, I didn't really put out all my Halloween stuff. I just have some Halloween stuff. I made this bow and I put it right here on my lantern. And then this right here are those stickers that I picked up at 99 cent store. And I love the way they look. I put it all the way around. Let me show you guys this right here. Isn't it cute? Yeah, I didn't do a lot. I didn't take out all my stuff or my Halloween village because of her. She gets into everything. This is the one that she broke. I have to glue a new one on here. I just put it right there for now. 
Here in the kitchen, I have this little plate right here by the sink. And I just put my sponge and the Dawn soap there. Over here in the coffee area, we just bought some espresso pods for our cappuccino latte machine. We love to drink that in the winter time or in the fall time when it's nice and cold. But uh, And then I put some of the cake cups right in here. And then over here is all the stuff that we're going to be using to decorate for family night in or family fright night in. We're actually doing it a little different this year. We invited friends. So it's going to be a bit of people. And we're actually going to do it in the backyard. Um, we're going to put movies outside in the backyard. So if you guys want to see a vlog or you want to see how I decorate for that day, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys. And then here I have those little creamers inside this little ghost right there. And I think that's pretty much everything. Over here I just have this little ghost here. It's my Hocus Pocus book. I've been reading that. I'm in the sequel part. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but uh, yeah, I'm still reading that. But yeah, that's basically everything that I have. Um, there's that witch broom. Over here I have that witch broom right there which I'll put candies in there and then I'll use that for the family fright night in. All right, as we're going up the stairs, I do have this here. So this mask here, I was gonna use my boys were messing with it. That's why it looks the way it does. But this mask here, I was gonna put, try to put on the pumpkin here, but it didn't fit, so I ended up going with that one. But, yeah, my boys were messing with this, so they messed it up. And then this guy here was my thrift store find. It was on, and as you guys can see, the tree kind of fell over and it stayed that way. So I guess that's why they Took it to the thrift store, but oh well, it still turns on, so I use it anyways. I was supposed to hang that up. But this is this area. That is pretty much everything I did indoors. Hubby will show you guys when he's done with his outdoors, and that way you guys can see it, and um, hopefully you'll like it he is coming up with some pretty good DIYs himself. So that is everything that I have indoors for Halloween. I will show you guys what it looks like at night. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.